this is Stampy, and welcome to a horrible rainy day inside of Stampy's wonderful world! What's going on here? I feel like it's been raining forever inside of my wonderful world, but oh well. We will not let that bother us. We are here safely inside, out of the weather in my treetop hotel, and uh, we're going to be leaving the world soon anyway, to be honest. I'm going to be making another new world today. We are still on the, the hunt for the climbing claws, uh, which should spawn on the surface of a world. So I just need to find a world where one does spawn on the surface. And uh, I did a bit of research in terms of what is the surface. And basically it's the top 50 meters or feet uh, of, a, uh, of a world. So what I'm going to do to make things a bit easier so I know what is the surface uh, and what isn't is to, to make a depth meter. And you might be thinking that I'm being silly and that well, it's easy what the surface is, you know, you can tell it's the surface, it's just not underground, but it's not, because, like, the surface actually goes quite deep underground, but it's still considered the surface, so, uh, yeah, let's, uh, make this, uh, this depth meter, and, uh, we can use that just to, just to find out where we are, so there we go, here is one depth meter, let's go and just, uh, I think I can just leave that there. I don't know how this thing works, I'm gonna just go and try and work it out, uh, when we get to the new world, but I think, um... I think I just need it in my pocket. I don't think I need to, like, properly equip it, I believe. But, uh, yeah, let's just go and uh, find out on the uh, on the field. So let's go and uh, put all of this gold away. I should have everything that I need. So, yeah, let's uh, let's set off then. Let's uh, go and uh, save and exit. And uh, let's load up a brand new world. So the last world I made, I called it Terry, didn't I? So let's make a new world. And let's make it a large one, just so there's more surface area. And let's call this one Tim. <laughs> a bunch of people called Tim probably just got excited watching this video. So there we go. If you are called Tim, then this video is dedicated to specifically you. And if you're not called Tim, then sorry, every other video apart from this video is dedicated to you. There we go. I think that sounds <laughs> just about fair enough. So uh, if you have missed the last few episodes, the reason I'm after the climbing claws is because I need to combine it with spike shoes, which I got in the last episode, to make tiger climbing gear. I then need to mix the tiger climbing gear with a tabby and a black belt in order to make master ninja gear. And the reason I want that is because it's going to allow me to dodge while battling the Duke Fish run. Are you taking notes? Did you get all of that? <laughs> That's the thing about Terraria. So I'll be honest, I, like, I really enjoy Terraria. I think Terraria is a great game, but sometimes like I'm starting the episode and I got so many notes. I got a whole whiteboard on, in front of me of notes like this, add plus this, go to this, to go to this. You know, I feel like I'm doing homework. <laughs> I feel like I'm um, trying to, to do um, like revision for a test or something when I'm uh, about to start one of these episodes. <laughs> it's certainly a game that I think is best played with a group of people. Like I think everyone needs a guide. Someone needs someone who's played the game before to help them out. And I haven't really had that. I've been struggling through it on my own. But uh, yeah, I think... In some ways, it makes it more fun. In other ways, it just makes it really difficult. But anyway, we have Harvey here uh, saying hello. Um, I don't really need any help. So um, I'd leave the water if I was you, Harley. Um, he's going to die, isn't he? He's going to drown. Immediately, he's going to drown in that water. <laughs> right then, what do we have then? Here's the uh, the new world. Let's uh, let's go wandering then. So how does this um, this old depth meter work then? Do I need to like uh, like look at it? If I hold it here, is it showing me anything? I'm trying to look at the actual picture of it. It doesn't seem to be moving. How does it... How does it work then? What do I What do I do with this thing? It says it shows like how deep I am. So like down here, this is probably still technically the surface. But I, I don't know. I don't know how far I can go. So what do I do? So... Oh, it, says, it does say it's equipable. So maybe I do need to equip it. I didn't think that I needed to equip it. But maybe I do. Oh, there we go. I did. I, I needed to uh, equip it. So as I said, it's the, um, the top... 50. So, uh, oh, it says, oh, so yeah, I think when this goes down to zero, this is all considered the, the surface still. So I was actually looking and apparently the, um, the climbing claws can spawn in like crates and thing. It doesn't need to be like a, a proper chest. It could be like, um, like a, a crate, you know, rather than a chest. I don't know whether these barrels, I don't know if it can spawn in these, but apparently it's not too rare. So, uh, yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling relatively confident. Uh, and even if I don't find it in the, in this world, I can always load up another world. So I just want to make sure that I, I look underground uh, in some of these areas as well, just in case I find some of these, uh, chests. And it can spawn in snow ones as well. Like, uh, there is a chance to get snow chests and and uh, you can have a chance of finding it in one of them as well. So I do want to also make sure I properly uh, explore all of the, uh, the the snow areas. So uh, we're out of the, the snow. 
back to the the normal ground and i don't know if there's going to be anything else that i might discover like in the the last episode i found that pyramid and that was a uh, pretty cool i don't know if i'm going to find uh, anything quite like that today but that would be cool uh, that would be uh, pretty awesome so let's go and have a little check down here uh nothing around that way the night edge is actually pretty good just for like lighting up the area i just swing it around and like the the little beam that comes out uh, does a pretty good job of lighting things up so i am going to go after all of these barrels i don't know if it can spawn in the barrels i don't think it can but i am just going to check them and oh look there's a chest so this it could be in this chest this does count as a surface chest sadly it looks like we don't have anything great oh iron skin potions i'll take them definitely and i'll take some spare torches they're always useful but uh yeah nothing else i want so there we go there was a chance it could have been in that chest i know it wasn't but <laughs> that did count as a uh, a surface chest even though it was technically underground because when i when i explored terry the world of terry <laughs> i really didn't look down in those caves like that i really did just go on the surface of the surface you know i just wandered around here and i didn't really go down anywhere so uh, now i know that it could be down in these sections i am going to have a, a little bit more of a look and oh what's this oh i think this is the um this is the the crimson i believe isn't it i don't have one of these in my world let's uh, uh go through here quite quickly okay, so i don't think you really find any uh, any chests in these areas so let's just try and get to the other side of this it's also just quite horrible as well and actually there are some like are these things here Okay, there are things there. Maybe you can get chests around here. So yeah, if I do see any little caves coming down here, I can go and uh, take them out. Like, there's not going to be anything that can really deal any damage to me. They just look horrible and they're a little bit irritating. So <laughs> I can deal with them that way. It just looks so horrible, doesn't it? All of like this red. Like the corruption isn't like you know, it's not places you're gonna. It's not a place you're gonna go on holiday or anything. But it doesn't look uh, quite as bad as this. I can go down here though. Are there any chests around here? Nope. It looks like we've just got to the uh, the the underground level there. And so, yeah, sadly, uh, nothing that we were, were after there. So, uh, yeah, let's go back across the surface. I really do hope that I, I find it in this world. Uh, I was so like lucky getting the, the spike shoes. Well, if you remember in the last episode, I went looking for spike shoes and I found uh, uh, spike shoes and then I immediately found more spike shoes and we got an umbrella and some other things. I believe that it spawns at about the same rate as umbrellas. I, it was in like the same category on the uh, the the wiki. They were like basically right next to each other, and I found two umbrellas so far. So I think uh, I've been finding the uh, the right chest in the right places, but just not finding what uh what it is that I'm after. So let's go and look through here. There's like a giant tree that we can go and dig down. Is there going to be anything underneath this tree? It does seem to be leading. Oh, there's a little door down here. Oh look, there's a there's a chest in here. Uh, this does count as the surface as well. Oh, we've got a uh, a living wood wand. Places living wood. I think I might have had one of them before let's go and grab that a living loom it can be used for for special crafting uh more iron skin potions i'm loving these iron skin potions because i always use them <laughs> there we go that's not what i was after it's still pretty cool to find and does this go it looks like this goes down deeper as well i know this is a um a little bit of a, a detour uh, but let's just kind of a little bit of a look down here uh, like down the the roots of this tree just because just because i'm a bit curious to, to be honest to see if there's going to be anything else down here it looks like we're getting properly underground so yeah uh, nothing that i was uh, particularly after but that was a uh, uh, quite cool to find that's uh, another thing uh, that i don't get in my uh, in my world so uh, yeah let's go uh, back up to the, uh, the the surface and let's keep wandering that is one of the the shames about terraria especially as it's uh, a 2d world is that you know, you kind of are restricted by what you have in your world. Like, I know it's good that you can, um, you know, you can go and, uh, like load up new worlds and bring stuff across, which makes it okay. But you kind of want everything in your world. It'd be good if like you could expand the world. Kind of like how you can do in Minecraft a little bit. Like you can have a, a world and then when there's a new update, you could basically say make my world a bit bigger and then end up getting everything new that you uh, might have missed out on that could be pretty cool all right that looks like we've arrived at the ocean and uh, you do sometimes find chests down here Here we go i found a chest down here and uh, we've got a flipper and some other things nothing uh, particularly useful so let's go uh, along this way and to uh, see if there's uh, another chest down here i am keeping an eye on my on my oxygen and it is getting pretty low right now and there's no chest down here uh, luckily it doesn't kill you immediately it just slowly takes away health so if i'm really really fast i should be able to keep running and am i close enough to to get to the surface go 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 just about <laughs> just about able to, to get a breath well, i'll tell you what seeing as, well, as we've gone as far to the left as we can let's magic mirror to the uh, the the spawn and uh, let's go to the uh, the right then this time and hopefully uh, we're gonna have a, a little bit more luck going in this direction there's a bit of a, a jungle down there i can't see uh, any chests uh, around in that area here 
Uh, so yeah, let's go and uh, keep going. So uh, we're 31 meters above ground level here. So uh, oh, here we go. There's another chest down here. Is anything in there? No! Every time I see a chest, I get my hopes up. Like, I just keep getting my hopes up and then getting just disappointed immediately. I haven't found any of those crates yet either. Like, I found loads of vases and things, but I haven't found any of those crates either because I've been keeping a lookout for them. And apparently they're really common, but... I haven't seen any of them. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's like a, a PC thing or something. All right, let's go and uh, let's go and check here, and then we can loop back round and go under the the ground again and uh, keep going down this way. So it seems to to go down here, and I'm still 45 meters. And oh, have I seen this chest? This isn't the chest I just looked in. Was it? Oh, climbing claws! I found them! Yay! Oh, I want to actually take them rather than just put them back in. Oh, that's good. I did it. Everyone, I did, you saw me. You saw that I did it. <laughs> oh, good old Tim. Tim would never let me down. Oh, there's another chest here. If I find more climbing claws in here, I'm going to quit. <laughs> no, no more climbing claws in here. I honestly thought it was going to happen again. I honestly thought I was going to find them again, just like happened with the, the spike shoes. <laughs> well, there we go. That's good. I got them. I got exactly what I needed. Oh, there is another chest here. Don't you dare. Don't you dare have climbing claws in. Okay, this one's just got some torches in. Is this the chest I just looked in? I don't know. I'm going mad. All the chests look the, the same. <laughs> All right, then. Well, let's have a little look down here. Just once again, I'm a little bit curious. I just uh, can't help just going a little bit deeper. But no, looks like there's nothing else down there. So let's go home then. This is good. I honestly thought that getting this master ninja gear was going to be like a, a huge project that was going to take absolutely ages. But you know what? I'm doing pretty well. So... All I need left is the, uh, the to be, to buy, to buy, to, I, I, I know I probably pronounce that wrong every time, and anyone who knows how to pronounce it, I'm probably driving crazy, but I'm sorry. And up, oh, still raining, of course. <laughs> right then, so, we can now make the, uh, the tiger climbing gear, I believe. So where's my chest? I think I was using this chest here. So let's go and grab these, uh, uh, let's just use the, uh, let's use, uh, these spike shoes, because they don't have extra movement on. Well, actually, let's use them in case it carries, uh, across somehow. So there we go. We got the, the spike shoes and the, the climbing claws. Uh, so let's go and, uh, combine these to make the, uh, the tiger climbing gear. So I don't know what I need to be next to to make them. Let's just go to uh, an old-fashioned workbench, shall we? And oh, look, blacksmith rack. What are these things? Are these just for decoration? Oh, these look so cool. Let's, oh, let's make one of these. And let's go and make a um a sword rack as well. And oh, I ran out of whatever I had. <laughs> oh, it's the iron and the wood. That was cool. That wasn't what I was trying to make, but they, they look pretty awesome, didn't they? I really do need to explore a little bit more uh, about what there there is in this um uh, yeah, in this update, because I haven't really looked into it at all. Right, then where where is it? I feel like it should be in this section. So uh, it's the, the tiger climbing gear. So there's a chance I have everything that I need, but I might just be not standing in front of the, the right thing. It might be the, the tinkerer's workbench or something. So let's just try and read through as, uh, as carefully as we... Um, uh, as we can, and uh, see if we can uh, find... Oh, there we go. Tiger climbing gear. Oh, yeah. Tinkerer's workbench. If I go and stand here... There we go. I did it. I now have the uh, the, the tiger climbing gear. So this allows me to, to kind of climb walls and stuff. So let's uh, get rid of this absolutely rubbish depth meter. That's actually okay. That did actually help me out, that depth meter. <laughs> I'm probably going to never, ever, 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 ever use it again, but it was nice to have. So let's see if I can I can climb up my wall here then. So how does how does this work? Oh, okay. I think I'm holding on to it there. And then like, I can scrape down. So I don't think I can climb up, but I can just go and scrape down like that. So that by itself isn't the, the most useful thing in the world. But when I combine it with the black belt and then the, the tabby, tabby, tabu, tabu, whatever that thing is as well, uh, then that's going to be, yeah, that's going to be a, a pretty awesome uh, uh, addition. So let's go for now and uh, safely store this back away in this chest because I don't need it yet. Uh, so let's leave that uh, back in there. And then, yeah, let's go and try and find the, the final piece of the puzzle. So I did promise in the last episode that I would be going back to the dungeon if I needed to. And uh, yeah, it looks like the time has come. But for now, let's go and put some of this stuff up. Let's put the, the sword rack in here because uh, this is my weapons guy. He might like that there. And it looks like these are only for, for decoration. So let's go and put the, the blacksmith rack up here because uh, that's going to look pretty cool. I like it. I like the look of it. There is a lot of rooms in this place that I still need to, to decorate and kind of ones that I've decorated a long time ago and I probably should redecorate because <laughs> they're probably looking a bit lackluster now. So uh, I'm going to keep these iron skin potions on me because they are always valuable, especially if you're going somewhere uh, as dangerous as the, the, the dungeon. 
Uh, but yeah, I always get a bunch of stuff when I go to the dungeon, so I do want to uh, to clear up my uh, inventory at least uh, a little bit, uh, just so I have some room to, to pick up all of my goodies. There's no point uh, finding uh, all of these cool things if I have nowhere to, to put them. So let's go and uh, equip this again. I can put that down there. Uh, gonna keep the. Uh, I can put some of these torches back. I don't need uh, quite this many torches, and I got a torches chest somewhere around here. You can see. Uh, you can see. I almost know where everything goes, and then there's this. Um, those glow sticks. Actually, I might take some glow sticks because these can be uh, pretty handy in places like the, the dungeon for lighting things up. Uh, I've got a bunch of wood on me. I don't need that. Uh, I think I'm just going to throw away that dirt because I really don't need that. So let's just go and uh, throw away some of these... Um these other things as well. I'm going to put that last bit of stone away, and I think that will do. I think this is uh, uh, my pockets uh, empty enough uh, for for where I'm going. So right, uh, let's go and uh, let's go and head off then to the dungeons. Uh, sadly, we are setting out on a, another rainy evening. <laughs> Does seem to be a bit of a tendency. So uh, just as a bit of a reminder, it's Bone Lees that we're after. They uh, have a chance to drop what we need, and that's where I got the the black belt from. Uh, but the thing is, they do spawn relatively rare, and they don't always drop what I need. So if I find one right now, then I'm going to be ridiculously lucky. So just to, just to get your expectations in order. <laughs> uh, the chances of me just finding one straight away are pretty uh, unlikely. But uh, the good thing is, I am also after a, uh, a tactical shotgun. And I think that's dropped by... Is it the tactical skeleton, I think it's called? I think it's either that or the, the commando skeleton. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, one of the other things that I wanted before I uh, uh, go and fight Duke Fishron. So it's kind of good that I'm going to the dungeon. Because kind of like the, the two things that I want, I... You know, I get them both from the same place, so really, there's nowhere else I could be spending my time better than getting bullied by all of the googlies down in the uh, the, the dungeon. And we're pretty much uh, arrived now. I do have a bunch of healing potions on me, so they should be able to, to help me out. And of course, I've got all of these iron skin potions that I just grabbed, and uh, they are they are almost crucial when going down a place like that. And let's see if I can um, find like a, a better strategy in order to, to survive than I did last time, because ha, I got destroyed. I think I need to like learn an area and kind of get set put there. I think I wandered around too much and I kept like falling on like the spikes and stuff and I think that that really didn't help me. So I think what would be a better idea is to find like a, a good place to, to go and like try and try and like allow all the enemies to be funneled towards me. Oh look a commando! It's a commando right there! Did I did I get anything? Oh I don't think I got anything. That's that that's what I needed to take out. Well, that was almost lucky because I found it. I found one of the enemies I needed immediately, but sadly it didn't drop a, a tactical shotgun. No, I couldn't believe it. I was like blown away then. <laughs> as soon as I came down here, I found exactly what I, I needed. So that's promising, I guess. Who knows? Maybe, maybe my luck's about to change. It's those paladins. They're the things I want to worry about. They're absolutely enormous. The thing is, though, I know because they're so strong, they got to drop something good. And I haven't looked them up at all. I have no idea what they uh, they do drop, but it's got to be something good. You know, anything that tough has to, to drop something powerful. And then the other good thing about coming down here uh, on top of everything else is I get all of the um uh, the souls of night as well, which are just always useful for a bunch of, of different things. So uh, yeah, grabbing a, a bunch of them is always a good thing. So like I can always say that even if I don't get specifically what I was after, if I leave with a bunch of souls of night, you know, it's still valuable. You know, it's still something that I'm ultimately going to end up using at, at some point. So I can't complain about that. So let's just go and uh, let's take out these guys. Let's try and find a, a good safe place to battle people. I mean, there's a bit of a tunnel here. Like this is kind of like the, the kind of thin tunnel I was after. I should probably get rid of some of these, um, these spikes though, because the spikes really don't bother the enemies, but the doors do actually surprisingly slow them down. They do take a, a while to open the doors. And look at this. If they kind of keep funneling at me one by one like this, I should be able to, to deal with them because the doors kind of slow them down going one way. This might be a, quite a smart way to do this. I would like to, if I if there's any opening whatsoever, <laughs> I would like to, to go and try and break away some of these spikes. It shouldn't take uh, too long with this, this pickaxe if I just go and break along here like that. There we go. That means I'm not going to get hurt. And uh, yeah, this is actually quite a good place. It's kind of between two doors. So I can kind of just run between uh, like these different areas. So let's kind of light the, the area up with a, a few torches uh, just to make sure no googlies end up sneaking up on me, just like this one did, <laughs> uh, like this. Uh, so yeah, I can go and spread these out around the place so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, but yeah, I think this might be a, a safer place to hang around in just to, to keep my, my health up. Uh, so as I did say, I do have healing potions on me anyway, but it'd be nice if I don't have to end up using them. 
And then if I do find one of the uh, uh, the tougher ones, one of the more stronger enemies, uh, if I can get in close with the um, uh, the Knight's Edge, which is of course my most powerful weapon, uh, then I can kind of get some some good damage then. So now uh, I'm pretty much uh, looking to the the Terraria gods. The uh, the fate is in their hands <laughs> as to to whether I'm going to find what I need. Obviously, I got extremely lucky at the the beginning finding the commando, but then again, I guess it wasn't that lucky, seeing as I didn't get what I needed from it anyway. Let's try and uh, seeing as we're going to spend a little time in this corridor, let's just try and level it up a little bit. Just so I can kind of move around quicker. Uh, like, I just don't want to get into the situation I had before. Because if you remember last time, I found the Bone Lee, but he just absolutely destroyed me as soon as I found him. And is that another commando? I think, is that a commando? I think, oh yeah, this is this is another commando. Oh, let's see if I get the shotgun. Let's go and take him out. Did I get anything? Oh, I don't think I got anything. Oh, that's two I've found of them. I'm finding a lot of them, but not, not many Bone Lees. I don't know if they're, um, they're more common than Bone Lees. I mean, they certainly seem to be. Like, I've found more of them so far. I don't know if I've just got lucky or whatever. So let's just kind of make this more of a, a staircase. Because uh, you can kind of, like, run up one block. Then I can go back and forth here. There's also some enemies down here. I kind of just want to clear them out. Oh, there's another one. There's another commando. Oh, they've got to be more common. I'm finding them all over the place. I I don't know. I don't. Maybe it's not the commandos I want, then. I, th I think they might be tactical skeletons because I feel like I must have found one. I've taken out like three of them already. Uh, I got excited then because I got some souls of night. Uh, there's uh, one of those, I think they're the necromancers, I think those guys are, uh, that use uh, this magic attack. And apparently they're, apparently they're magic one thing that they use that I got. Apparently that thing's really powerful. Like I did try it out a little bit, but I, I didn't have much luck with it to, to be honest. But then again, like my, my whole setup is geared towards melee weapons. Like all of my armor and all of like my things that I've equipped, you know, they're all you know, there to improve my melee weapon. So maybe just using magic isn't going to be, you know, very effective for me, kind of no matter what. But uh, yeah, I found a bunch of commandos. I reckon it is the uh, the tactical ones that are, that I'm after then. And my iron skin's about to, uh, to run out. So I'm going to have uh, another one of them. It's those necromancers. They're the ones that are causing the, the most trouble. And there's something that keeps slowing me down as well. Like I keep walking really slow. Oh, there we go. There's a bone lee. There's a bone lee. Take it out. Take it out. Take it out. Take it out. Did I, oh, did I get it? Oh, I took it out. I don't think I got anything though. That's what I'm after though. You see that? You see how battling it in this uh, this corridor made it like so much easier than uh, than last time about them. I know I can't attack. I've been something something was done to me. Then I was like. I don't know, like, cursed or something, then I wasn't able to, to swing my sword for a little while there. Right, let's go and have this uh, next iron skin potion now. There we go. That's going to give me a, a whole extra five minutes, and I think that is uh, probably one of the, the things that's keeping me alive down here. But those necromancers are a pain. They're really, um like, good down in this area, just because all of their attacks, like, bounce off the walls. So, like, they can hit you, but then, like, bounce and then bounce back and hit you again. They can also, like, get you around corners and things as well. So that's, uh, that's definitely one of the, the things to worry about. And let's try and, uh, sort out this area here as well and just make more of a, um, uh, a gradual slope. Uh, so then that way I'm going to be able to, to run around this area as well. Let's go and take out this guy. Go and take out the, uh, the, the blue armored guy as well. Uh, these angry bones, like, I think angry bones are the ones that like, I found in the dungeon before hard mode. So they're just, like, really, like, useless compared to all of the, the other enemies down here. Let's take out that guy as fast as we can. There's some more ectoplasm down here as well. Might as well go and, uh, and grab that. And, uh, yeah, I think that the, um... The best idea is just to keep kind of moving back and forth in this area. Like, I'm not, I'm not getting overwhelmed like I was last time. Like, last time, they were just coming at me from everywhere. And there was, like, pretty much nothing I can do. But here we go. There's another Bone Lee, another Bone Lee. Did I get anything? Oh, I think I just got Souls of Night again. And oh, there's a weird spirit thing. Did I get it? Uh, I always get really paranoid that I'm going to, like, find what I'm looking for. But just not realize it. <laughs> and then that way I'm going to, like you know, still be looking at it for, for ages, but not have it. So there we go, that's, that's a few bone leaves I've had now. I've just got really unlucky. And remember, there's a chance that it's going to, to drop another black belt. You know, there's, it's not going to stop me getting black belts, even though I have one. And I think that, I think getting another black belt might be even more disappointing than getting nothing before. But yeah, what I was saying before I saw the, the last bone lee is that last time I came down here, I was getting like completely overwhelmed, wasn't I? And now this time, like it's been, it's been probably like a little bit too easy easy, if anything. Like, you know, I could kind of do with more enemies, seeing as that's why I'm down here, but, you know, like, I want something just in between today and last time. I want, like, a nice, steady flow of enemies. Not too many, you know, I don't want to get taken out or anything, but a nice steady stream, just so I have a, a good chance of getting what I need, you know, but I want it enough so that I'm not just waiting around. So at the moment, I keep, like, having to, to wait for things. I don't know, may maybe just my my little corridor strategy. It's not even really a strategy, is it? Staying in a corridor. I can't, 
<laughs> claimed that I'm a, an amazing tactician for deciding to, to stay in a corridor. But it, it does seem to make it easier because when you're wandering around, you're falling on spikes. It's dark. You don't know, you know, what you're going to end up facing. But kind of just controlling this area, you kind of like, you know, I can go and look to the left and I see nothing's there. Then I can kind of go to the, the right. And then when there is something, they're generally all like grouped uh, together like this. And I can just go and take them all out uh, pretty quickly. So it is uh, uh, definitely working very well. So what I think I'm going to do... Uh, seeing as uh, I have no idea how long this is going to take, I'm going to carry on until I find one more bone lee. Especially as I have this um, uh, this iron skin potion, I don't want to let it go to waste. So I'm going to keep going until I get the next bone lee. If I get what I need, then jolly good. Uh, and if not, then I think we're going to have to, to, to call it off for uh, another day. I haven't found any tactical skeletons. I'm sure that's what they were called. I'm sure they were called tactical skeletons. But I've not found any of them yet. So maybe they're uh, even rarer. Uh, so uh, I want to keep an eye out for, for them as well. And then if I do find that uh, that giant thing, that pal I think it was called a paladin. It might, I might be saying it wrong. I think that's what it was called. If I find one of them again, then I'm going to go after it. I'm not going to go and back down, even though I've got nine gold coins on me. Ha <laughs> ha! And I'd rather not die. I don't want to count away from it. I think if I if I met it down here in the tunnel and if I had the nine skin potion and I just charged it immediately and did it as much damage as I could, you know, I reckon that I would have a little bit of, of a chance. I can have a, a another healing potion when I want as well. It's really these necromancers. I think they, look, they slow me down. You can see the little snail in the top left-hand corner of the screen. Uh, that's saying that I'm being slowed down. So I think it might be the uh, uh, the necromancers. They're the ones putting the uh, the, the curse on me. And they're the uh, the ones making me slow down. So I need to worry about that uh, as well. But the, the bone leaves and things, they haven't been much trouble. It's kind of just like these these blue armored bones. They seem to be uh, a little bit tougher. Like, I guess the bone leaves, they kind of like jump around a little bit more than some of the, the other things. Uh, let's go and take out these guys down here. Like, I'm worried that there's just a bunch of enemies really close to me. And I'm like kind of just missing them. Uh, they seem to be dropping down here. I don't want to stay here for too long because this is the kind of area. You see them when they're all dropping on my head? That's when they end up dealing a whole load of damage uh, against me uh, rather than kind of just fighting them inside of here. I'm going to have uh, another iron skin potion. Luckily, I found all of those. <laughs> they're not too bad to make anyway. Uh, yeah, just because that was uh, was starting to, to run out. And I don't want to, to run out when uh, I don't notice and uh, yeah, not be able to, to do anything. Come on, Bone. Where are the Bone Lees now? Come on, where are they when I want them? <laughs> it's weird, like... Like, people say about how tough it is to get some of these things, but you know what? A lot of it is really just down to, to luck at the end of the, the day. You know, like, I, I could have come down here and found one immediately and got it. Like, there's nothing, there's nothing really to do with skill which is stopping me from getting it. Like, it's not like, oh, I couldn't take one out. I just haven't been able to find one of them. But these, these necromancers, they're, they're really ganging up on me at the moment. I want to take these out quickly. Like, I don't think they're going to kill me. But the thing is, because they slow me down, I got to get really close. I think maybe I'm supposed to use more, like, ranged weapons against them. So I am a little bit hurt right now. And that does worry me because I don't want to, uh, one of the, the more powerful things to, to come and take me out uh, now. So let's, uh... Let's stay in the uh, the middle of my corridor for a, a little bit and make sure I stay alive. And oh, there's another necromancer. Go away, necromancer. I don't want anything from you. I've already got what you drop. I'm not interested. <laughs> go away. <laughs> Imagine if they just listened to me. Imagine if you just said, go away. And they're like, all right, sorry to inconvenience you. And they just all went home to their necromancer village or, or wherever they uh, wherever they live. All right, is there anything around me? They do seem to be like spawning underneath me. I just don't want to drop down there because that's kind of the... um. Uh, one of the, the places where I can feel like I'm going to get surrounded. Uh, so yeah, if I do drop down there, I want to at least make sure I've um, uh, got my uh, my health up a, a little bit more. I'm at half health now. And remember, because I got the, um, the, the gold hearts as well, like it's kind of... I kind of got twice as much health as it looks like, you know, because uh, in case you uh, you don't know, if you are new to Terraria, uh, when the hearts are gold, it essentially counts as two hearts almost, you know, like the, the gold heart goes and then you got the, the red heart underneath. So uh, yeah, I, I have a, a lot more health than it looks like, uh, but yeah, it does, uh, it does replenish really slow. Like if you actually watch how fast it goes up, it's like one little quarter and then another little quarter. And then another little quarter. You know, it does go up really slowly. So you want to be really careful just to, to try not uh, uh, get uh, damaged too much. Uh, while the uh, uh, while your health's uh, going up like this. So let's, uh, yeah, I guess I can just keep doing what I'm doing. I must have a load of souls of night. Look at that, 19 souls of night. <laughs> if I end up leaving this dungeon with nothing else to my name, at least I would have got a load of souls of night. And I know you might be thinking, why am I like really going out of my way to, to take out all of these guys? Uh, one of it is to get the souls of night, but also means there's more chance for uh, the bone leaves to, to spawn in. 
Uh, basically, there's like a limit to the amount of uh, of enemies that can be in like, you know, the world at your time or, or on your screen at the same time. So if there's a bunch of other enemies, you know, it might be uh, blocking the, uh, the the spawn uh, from a, a Bone Lee spawning. So uh, yeah, kind of any enemies that I see show up, I just want to take them out as soon as I can, especially if they're a Necromancer. Leave me alone, Necromancer. <laughs> they're not like really powerful. They're just a really big pain because I try and chase them down with my melee weapon with my sword, but then they just like keep stepping back, teleport out the way and then they slow me down as well and it just makes me go painfully slow and it's really annoying there's a whole bunch of guys coming from down that way i was able to uh, to take all of them out I see, yeah, my health's uh, uh, pretty high up now. Let's go back to my my little uh, my little corridor, which has been teaching me, well, doing uh, so well. And uh, yeah, let's hope for another Bone Lee. Like, I don't know, should, do you think I should put out more water candles? Because that's something that people have been suggesting. So water candles, if you don't know, they make more enemies spawn. And there are, like, a, a bunch of the, the water candles in the, the dungeon that I had destroyed. But, like, things... Things seem to be spawning pretty regularly, but just not the um not the things that I'm after. It seems to be the the problem. I wonder if I should maybe wander around and try and find a um another water candle and bring it back here. That might be a, that might be a good idea actually. Let, let's go and do, do that then. And who knows? Maybe I'm gonna find a, a bone lee on the the way. So let's try and remember where that corridor is and let's look for a water candle. They're basically just the little blue candle. Here we go. There's one right here. Let's go and uh, try and grab this. And uh, let's go and uh, uh, go and place this down. Uh, I don't actually, do I need to hold it? I can't remember if I need to place it down or, or hold it uh, or not. It's been quite a while uh, since I've used one of these. I don't want to kind of bring it out now because I am getting uh, <laughs> pretty surrounded by uh, all of these guys for now. So let's go and uh, take out all of these blue armored bones. Like these guys are so tough. I know they might not look like that tough, but remember I have like this um this really powerful sword. So, you know, I'm dealing a lot of damage with every, uh, every swig. And oh, there's another commando down here. Let's go and try and take out this guy. He seems to have like a cannon or something that he's firing me with it certainly doesn't look like a, a shotgun right i do want to, to try and get that water candle out but now is really not the time i don't know maybe just having it in my inventory is making more things spawn because i did get kind of overwhelmed there oh yeah holding this may uh, attract unwanted uh, attention so yeah uh, i don't know if that means literally holding it as in like um you know, I got to hold it like that, like out like this, or whether it means just having it on me. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure um, uh, what it means by that. So just in case, uh, let's go and like properly hold it like this, and to see if we can get more, um, uh, more googlies to to spawn in that way. Like uh, normally when I'm down in a dungeon like this, I wouldn't be after more enemies, but that is uh, exactly what I'm after. Well, I'm not after more. I'm just after the the specific enemies that I want to, to be honest. Let's go and take out uh, this necromancer, and let's go back to the cave. I want to be careful because I am starting to get pretty hurt, and there do seem to be more enemies spawning. I don't. I don't know if that is a coincidence of me having the the, the candle or whether it's uh, as a as a result of it but there do seem to be plenty of things uh, <laughs> coming after me at the uh, the the moment uh, so let's kind of go back and forth here uh, like i mean my only thought would be that maybe i'm not in like the right part of the dungeon but i did i did find a bonely underneath me and oh is that one there i think that's one underneath me down there did you see that I, th I think I just saw one jumping around. Let's go and uh, try and head down here. And there there is. There's one underneath there. Let's get rid of this necromancer first. And let's go down right. So this is going to be the last one. No matter what, this is going to be the last one I face in the, the video. He's really weak. Did he drop anything? Did he drop anything? I don't think he dropped anything. Oh, oh no. <laughs> it is a really low percentage that they have of actually dropping like the, the things you want. But that is a little bit devastating. So you know what? What I think I'm going to do is uh, in between this episode and the, the next episode, I'm just going to come down here and I'm probably just going to spend like an hour down here or something just uh, killing everything that I can find and hopefully I'm going to finally get uh, the uh, the final thing. It's literally one more thing I want. I just need to find the uh, the final thing that I need in order to, to make my master ninja gear. So yeah, uh, that is the the plan. So not a complete fail of this episode. I was able to, to get the, the climbing gear, uh, which is of course very useful and let's uh let's get out of here now shall we things are getting a little bit deadly so i got the climbing gear i got all of this stuff i got 17 gold coins i got 22 souls of night so overall despite the obvious disappointment at the end i still count this uh, as a successful video so yeah hopefully in the next episode i will have everything that i need to, to make the master ninja gear and i will of course as always uh, be leaving a link down in the uh, description to the episode once it's online but for now i want to thank you all very much for watching and i will see you all later Bye!